Hi and welcome back to the channel. This is Abdullah Galal and this is another video in the product costing of manufactured items playlist. So in the last video, we did the activity type, price and the quantity planning. And in the video before, we did the cost center cost element planning. In the video today, I will explain the overhead allocation using the costing overhead sheet. So this will be a demo on the SAP S4HANA 1909 system. And by the end of the video, you will know how to create a costing overhead sheet from A to Z. So today I'm going to do this part. So the rent expenses will be allocated to the machine activity and the seller's expenses will be allocated to labor activity. So the rent will be activated to machine. So 10,000 to 27,000 is 37% and salary is 5,000 to 10,000 is 50 percent now before you continue watching this video as always i recommend that you review the business process video where i explain the business concept behind the overhead allocation using the costing overhead sheets so you should be uh, you should be able to easily understand everything that i will explain and demonstrate in the video today let's go to the system so the transaction i'm using is kzs2 maintain costing sheet double click so I'm going to create a costing sheet from scratch so we can see how this works. New entries. So let's call this one GA002. Description as demo costing sheet. Enter. Select the line and go to costing sheet rows. It is very simple. Please pay attention. This is a very, very simple screen. So we have three things that we have to define. We have to define a base an overhead rate and a credit. The base is the base of our calculation. If we go to the Excel sheet, this is our base, the machinery and the labor. So we will create a base and we will tell SAP that we are calculating the overhead percentage based on the machine and the labor. The second thing is the overhead rate. So this is where we maintain the rate, 37% and 50%. The last one is credit. Credit is where SAP is going to take these expenses from and allocate them to the product. Remember when we talked about the cost center, we said it has two sides. Anything on the debit are the expenses planned on the cost center and in the credit are the expenses allocated. So this is why it is called a credit. So which cost center will SAP credit in order to allocate the expenses to the products? And also here we maintain the allocation cost element. We will see this in detail now. So I'm going to start with the base. So you have to create a new entry. The row you can give any number. So I will start by row number 10. And this will be a base row. So the base, you can put any code here. Okay, and description, let's say that this is label base. Then you select the line and you have to hit enter first, enter. Then select the line and go to base, double click on base. So entry does not exist. Do you want to create a new entry? Yes. What is this? Uh, labor base. And I will create the base based on the cost element and origin or cost center and activity type. This depends on how you uh, would like to determine the different bases. For me, I will keep as cost element origin. You can go ahead and try everything in your system, of course. So cost element origin. And controlling area GA00, okay. And create a new entry. So from cost element to cost element, or you can say a cost element group. So this is the base cost element on which SAP will calculate the rate. So the cost element I have, so this is for labor. The cost element for labor is labor also. So remember that this is not the activity type. This is the cost element assigned to the activity type in the master data. If you check the video I created, the first one in the demo, I explained how to create a different uh, master data. When we created the, the activity type for labor, I assigned a cost element that I called labor also. So I have the same naming for the activity type and the cost element. It doesn't have to be like this. It can be different. So now I'm using labor and uh, the, act the cost element is labor also. So save. Okay. Go back to costing sheet rows. So this is it, I created a base for labor. Now I'm going to create another base for machinery. So new entries again, this is row 20. Let's call it X2. 
and also enter select the line and double click on base doesn't exist create a new entry yes name is machine mac base machinery base okay all right and new entries so the cost element for machinery is also mach so this is the cost element assigned in the activity type again it is not the activity type itself it is the cost element assigned uh, assigned inside the active type and save go back so now i have created two base rows for machinery and labor now i will define rows for overhead and credit so define a new row so this is row 110 and this is for, will uh, depending on the base from row number 10 so i'm going to insert the rate and the credit here the rate will be calculated based on the base that we created in row number 10 and i create another line 120 this will be based on row number 20 and overhead and credit so overhead i can mention anything so let's say a1 and this will be a2 credit let's say that this is g1 and g2 let's go into the details of this so i i now i have to create the overhead and i have to create the credit overhead rate would you like to create a new entry yes so this is overhead it will be labor overhead labor overhead would you like this overhead to be a percentage or quantity based in my example it is a percentage it is 37 percent uh, no for labor it is 50 percent we will see this now so for labor it is 50 percent of my labor expenses so this is a percentage it is not based on the quantity if it is based on the quantity it will mean that whenever we spend one minute we have this expense for me no i'm saying that whenever we spend this value we have this expense so it will be a percentage of the value and dependency this determines the layout of how you determine the rate so it is very easy to explain if you try the different dependencies you'll see the difference it's very easy for me i am calculating the rate based on the overhead type only so i can choose different combination for determining the rate for me it is going to be the same rate for everyone except for different overhead types so overhead type overhead type is either plan or actual okay all right so as you see because i choose dependency d000 which is overhead type I only have one column for overhead type here. I don't have any other criteria for determining the rate. If you choose a different dependency, you will have different rows. So new entry, valid from. So this will be valid from the beginning of the year until the end of the year. And controlling area is GA00. Overhead type is actual or plan so i now i'm doing a planning cycle i'm doing a cost estimate so i'm determining the planned overhead rate the actual overhead rate is the one that will be actually used at the end of the period after we do our production and yes it can be different from your plan because now i'm calculating the plan based on uh, planned expenses but the actual expenses can be different so if the actual expenses are different the allocation rate will also be different so now i'm working on the planned percentage and the percentage I'm using for labor, let's go to the Excel sheet. So labor is 50%. 50%. So this is 50% from the base in row 10, which is the cost element for the labor activity. This is how SAP knows how to calculate the overhead. And I'm going to save. I have to define the other values also. Okay, no problem. So now let's define the credit. Or let's go back to the costing sheet rules to remember what we are doing. So I defined, now I defined this one, the labor over it. Now I'm going to define the credit for the labor. So select the line and go to credit. Do you want to create a new entry? Yes. So this is labor credit. Controlling area. New entries, valid two. So this is the validity date. So I have the cost center and the cost element. The cost element is the cost element that will be used in order to carry the costs to carry the cost from the cost center to the product. So this is the cost element that will appear on the credit side 
and it means that we allocate this overhead to our products. So this is a cost element, a secondary cost element, and I have one here for labor and I have another one for machinery. So this is my cost element and the cost center I'm crediting is PRD01. This is the source of the expense, our production cost center. This is the one that we planned our expenses on. So PRD01, OH1 and done. So go back. Now let's define the machinery line. So select this line and go to overhead rate. New entries, valid from, again the same. So from the beginning of the year until the end of the year. Controlling area is GA00, overhead type two. And percentage, let's go back to the Excel sheet. So for machinery, percentage is 37%. Three, seven. And let's go to the credit. Let's go back to the costing sheet rows. Select and go to credit. Would you like to create a new entry? Yes. So this is machinery credit. Smash credit. Okay. New entries valid to the end of the year. Cost element for credit is going to be different. Here I will be using OH2. For labor, I'm using OH1. And you will see the impact of using different cost elements when we go into the cost estimate. So now I have different allocation cost elements for different cost types. Why? Because this will give me a higher visibility, more visibility when I display the reports in the cost estimate and after this when I display the production expense, uh, costs report. We will see this in the next video. So a cost element, I'm using a different cost element for machinery and another one for labor. So this is OH2 and the credit cost center is the same, PRD01. This is the source of the expenses. And save. Back. And this is it. Now we completely define the costing overhead sheet. I hope it was easy to understand for you. So we started by defining what is the base of our calculation. So I have different base for labor and different base for machinery. This is why I had to define two lines. So this one includes the cost element for labor. This one includes the cost element for machinery. And after I defined the base, I created a different line for the overhead and the credit. And this line will refer to the baseline by this value. So I'm telling SAP that go to uh, the system should go to the base which is row number 10 so sap will go here and check the cost element and then multiply it by the overhead rate here and this value will be credited from this cost center defined here using the cost element here so i hope this is easy to understand i know it can be a little confusing but actually it is very simple once you get used to it and this is it. Now we define the costing over a sheet. Uh, so this was the last step in our planning to actually be able to run the standard cost estimate. It is a very happy moment. So everything I explained until now was to make us able to understand all the numbers we will see when we run the standard cost estimate of the finished product. And this is what I will do in the next video. So the next video will be awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope this was easy to you. Please leave me your questions. I know this can be a little confusing. So if you have any questions, you can leave me comments on YouTube or you can send me a message on LinkedIn and I will reply as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I will see you again in the coming video. Thank you.